In your gate syllabus, you may have 8 to 10 different subjects which you need to master if you want to have a top rank in gate. But don't think that you can randomly start any subject and still you will have good concepts because the subjects are related to each other. So there is a specific sequence which you should use if you want to maximize your marks. So if you are someone who is randomly reading subjects, not having a proper sequence in which you have to cover, definitely you are losing out on marks here. So in this video, I am going to tell you the right sequence which you should use if you want to have the best rank possible. I will also share some bonus tips in this video, along the video. So make sure that you watch everything carefully. Now when a gate aspirant starts his gate preparation and when he has no clue about how different subjects are related or what is the right sequence of subject, what he does? He thinks that according to the weightage I will decide that the subject which is most important or in other words which has highest weightage which will have highest number of marks asked in gate that I will cover first so that I will be in safe zone so I will cover high weighted subject first and then I will go to low weightage subjects this is the approach which many of the beginner gate aspirants use which is the worst way worst in which you can plan your subject sequence. In fact, many students who are in third year and who think they will not be able to finish the syllabus, they also use this approach. Sir, what subjects are most important? Sir, what subjects have most weightage? We will cover them. This is a blunder approach. Let me explain why. I have talked about this in a couple of previous videos that in gate mechanical engineering, the relationship between different subjects, the connection between different subjects is strongest. Whatever you are covering in subject A and B will be used in subject C. Whatever you cover in subject B and C will be used in subject E. So there is a strong connection between these subjects. You cannot start randomly from manufacturing and production which has the highest weightage because that single subject requires you to have the knowledge of five other subjects. Without covering those five subjects, you will not be able to fully understand manufacturing and production. So you cannot just decide by the weightage. And if you choose to do that, your concepts will be incomplete, your knowledge will be incomplete and you will not be able to properly solve questions which you ultimately need to do in GATE. And as I told you, this is especially true for gate mechanical engineering. I have talked about the strong relationship between different subjects in a couple of my previous videos. You will find the link of those videos in the first comment of the video. So make sure that you watch this video and after that you go to those videos as well so that you get to understand this thing even better. So is there only one recommended or only one correct sequence of subjects for gate mechanical? I will say no. There are actually three such recommended sequence which you can follow. So in this video, I will discuss the first and the most recommended sequence in detail and the rest two recommended sequence I will show you in the end of the video. So you can just go through them and decide whether they are suitable for you. Coming to the most recommended sequence of subjects. Look, out of all the subjects of gate mechanical, engineering mechanics is the most fundamental because it talks about the basics like force, mass, moment, moment of inertia, all those basic concepts which will be further utilized in strength of materials, fluid mechanics, theory of machines, machine design, even manufacturing and production to some extent. That is why if you just talk about the concepts, engineering mechanics is the subject you should start from. But there is one risk when you start with engineering mechanics. What is the risk? Look, now in gate mechanical, the questions that IITs have started asking in gate from mechanics are comparable to JEE advanced, JE advanced level questions have been asked in recent times. So if you are someone 
who wants to cover everything in engineering mechanics in the perfect way possible it will take some time especially if your fundamentals are not good from 11 12th right so first subject will get elongated more than one month because it's not just about covering the syllabus i have talked about this right in addition to finishing the syllabus you need to solve questions from question bank you need to solve topic wise solved problems all these things combined may take take more than one month of time and given the good quality of questions and you need to master them you also will take some time to improve right it will take more than one month especially if your fundamentals of engineering mechanics are weak so what is the issue issue is that when your first subject takes a lot of time your balance may get disturbed right because if you start something and you spend one and a half months and you have just covered one subject it may not have a good you know psychologically i'm uh, telling a good psychological impact on your preparation you may think are time to kam bacha hai and i have just covered one subject that's a small but a negative uh, point related with starting with engineering mechanics that is why if your some of the basics of force mass moment of inertia and all are clear to some extent i'm not saying you are an expert but they are okay okay also then you may start with strength of materials because strength of materials is a balance of both right you will get to apply the basics of mechanics force balance and all and it will also not take as much time as engineering mechanics to completely master that is why a balanced subject to start from would be strength of materials if these basics of force mass force balance and all is clear to you right that's why i recommend you start from strength of materials but if you are someone who has absolutely not read or not studied anything in 11 12 or ekdam basic bhi nahi pata hai then definitely you can start with engineering mechanics but be ready it will take some time to master je advanced level questions you have to solve you cannot expect that you will just you know cover the syllabus in two weeks and in the third week you will be solving toughest questions so it will take some time be okay with that so let's say the first subject here is going to be strength of materials after strength of materials you should go to fluid mechanics many students what they do they cover fluid mechanics first and then they go to strength of materials in that manner your fluid knowledge would be incomplete or would be having holes here and there because the knowledge of stress strain deformation all that you first cover in som and then you go to fluid mechanics where you will see its applications that is why after som go with fluid mechanics after fluid mechanics now there are two ways in front of you because if you recall in one of my earlier videos i told you that fluid mechanics is an interesting link between these design subjects and thermal subjects because knowledge of fluid will have strong application in thermal subjects and obviously it is mechanics right so mechanics word is connected to design fluid word is connected to thermal subjects so this is an interesting combination where it's interesting link between these two category of subjects what you should do here either you can cover thermodynamics and applied thermodynamics or you can cover engineering mechanics and theory of machine there are two different ways em plus tom or et plus eta look eta is an application of et which is thermodynamics tom is an application of engineering mechanics em so try to recommended most recommended way is that whenever you cover em next should be tom whenever you cover et next should be eta in fact there are so many questions which you can debate if they belong to et or eta or if they belong to em or tom so now which way should you go i'll tell you that if you can decide this on your own at your personal level if you feel that you have you are saturated slightly saturated by being in the mechanics zone right solid mechanics fluid mechanics so if you are saturated you are feeling saturated you can go to et and eta but if you are not feeling saturated i will recommend you that you cover em and tom 
because yes i told you that weightage does not matter because eventually you have to cover everything but if there is nothing else to break the tie we can definitely use this as a tie breaker weightage as the tie breaker the weightage of em plus tom combined is higher than et plus eta so that's the reason with which i am going that let's cover em plus tom first then we can go to et plus eta but as i told you if you are feeling saturated with covering you know the mechanics part of the syllabus definitely you can go to et plus eta first and then next you come to em plus tom it won't affect your preparation the next two subjects can be md and ht both of them are related to previous subjects machine design is related to strength of materials heat transfer is related to engineering thermodynamics so definitely after since we have covered those two subjects now we can move to md and ht weightage wise also they are slightly lesser so that's another reason why i have put them towards the end of this list next comes material science and metrology the knowledge of strength of materials will help you in material science to kick start material science in fact the first unit of material science is directly taken from strength of materials they are so much related and after material science and metrology you move to manufacturing and production yes the subject which is most related which is related to the most number of subjects right so this is i have already talked about i am not going to repeat all that here make sure as i have told you after watching this video check the first comment and watch those detailed video videos as well so that you get an actual idea ki kaise subjects are connected to each other so manufacturing and production you have to do it after covering all these subjects in the list whatever i have told you since the first subject now what is the last subject left here industrial engineering and operational research after mp that subject i'll recommend you do it at the end why firstly because it requires some knowledge of manufacturing and production right how the process of uh, mp is going on will help you understand industrial engineering and operational research only then you can understand the there are different models right epq model you can understand scheduling all these things you can understand better once you have covered mp first and then you go to industrial engineering also ieor is a process driven subject where you have to remember some process and follow the same process right it is not as concept heavy as other subjects so it's better that you do it towards the end closer to the exam right it will be better for you so this is the most recommended most preferred sequence of subjects for gate mechanical engineering now coming to the sequence number 2 and 3 i'll just show them to you i won't explain them but if you have uh, listened to me carefully in this video you will realize that i have made some changes without breaking the flow of concepts at this point of time i must emphasize i must focus on one thing that the subjects of gate mechanical are highly related with each other and you must learn you must prepare from such a source which helps you connect all them together only when your knowledge your concepts are complete and your marks will be highest and i can tell very proudly that exergic is the only one such source for gate mechanical engineering students i personally teach all the subjects of gate mechanical engineering not the aptitude in maths only the mechanical part by relating them together so if you have any question any query you can drop us a call or a whatsapp at the shown number also make sure that you watch the first link the first comment of this video where i have given a couple of links of previous videos which will help you an understanding the connection between the subjects even more they will help you in scoring more marks i wish you all the best